Well, Dad and I got the trailer all rigged up. We're headed out to go pick up a very important piece of the puzzle for good old Margaret. Say hi to the camera, Dad. Yo. <laughs> Here we go. He's going to give me a helping hand. Uh, you never know when you're going to go pick something up what you're going to need. Uh, we got uh, new truck, new tires on the trailer out back. Uh, hopefully those are good. Uh, here we go. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Flat Thunder channel. Today we got the tow rig here. We're going to pick up something that's very special for good old Margaret. A very important piece of the puzzle. We got it just back here. We're going to try to get it loaded on the trailer with Dad's help uh, and this kind gentleman that we purchased it from. Here we go. Just need a little bump here to get the uh, dry or the steers on the beaver tail. Winch, winch. Wait, wait, wait. Winch. Can you can you lift it? Can you get under it and lift it just attach for traction? All right. Winch. Winch. No, no, winch. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Just stay right there. I'll get a come along on it. Block the 
All right, we got the trailer all loaded up on the back. We had to take the wheels and tires off and chain it down. The gentleman was nice enough to let us do it inside his shop and I wasn't gonna film inside there. So we'll get back with you after we get this thing back home. Well, we had to stop to get us some uh, snacks here chocolate chip he's got sugar we're gonna get back on the road cheers most of you probably already know what we are picking up we are picking up a key component to continue working on margaret and move forward with the build on margaret for a while now, I was looking for a rear cutoff section from a semi. I wanted the airbag suspension so we can put it on Margaret, and I just could not locate one until now. This is a 1996 Freightliner chassis with Freightliner's uh, designed airbag suspension in the rear. Uh, we need some new bags on it. This one's kind of crumbly. That one looks okay. The frame isn't in too bad a condition. It has a set of tandem axles on it here, or tandem drive axles. These are 40,000 pound rated units. Uh, I believe it's a Spicer brand. Let's see. Wait for the piece of crap to go by. I believe it's a Spicer J400S. And the cool part about this is if we do decide to use these axles and or if we can make these axles work on Margaret, this is an air locker, so we'll have three out of four driven axles because I don't know if the rear set uh, has limited slip or not. So we can lock this front sit in and at least spin two and one in the rear. The frame's in pretty good shape. Uh, we're gonna be using some of this frame on Margaret for sure. How much, I don't know. It all kind of depends on how the build lays out. We have a lot of work to do. Uh, step one, we're going to clean off all the extra stuff that we don't need on this frame. Double check the condition of everything. Uh, right here we have like a bracket that somebody booger welded on there. That needs to go. Shouldn't, shouldn't have hurt it too much. Uh, we got air tanks, accessories. Uh, we even got the hood hinges up in the front here that we need to get, to get rid of. Cab mounts, that all needs to go. Uh, but up here in the front, we have a 12,000 pound axle, which may prove necessary for good old Margaret because Margaret's equipped with a 5,000 pound or a 7,000 pound front axle and it was loaded up, up over 5,000 pounds before the crane was installed. So if we want any capacity to load that thing at all, we might have to switch to this 12,000 pound axle. I'm not for sure at this point. Still in the plan and slash change of my mind phase. But isn't that awesome? I am super excited and super happy to ha finally have one of the key components to, con to continue moving forward on Margaret. I've been looking for several months for this and I just couldn't find one that was in my price range. I mean, they wanted, they were priced way up here. Even just a airbag suspension, they wanted like 1800 bucks for and I just couldn't do it. But now we got it. We got the full semi chassis and we're ready to keep on going. If you uh, like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave your questions and comments in that section below. And don't forget to punch that subscribe button your way out. Thanks for watching, everyone.